Hello, guys. Good evening. Welcome to the Good class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? How Great. are you doing? Excellent. That's the attitude, right? Is it raining there, guys? Good evening. Hello. No, it's not raining. Oh, okay. Over here, it rained. Well, it's still raining, but like an hour ago, it was raining cats and dogs. So it was heavy. And right now it's still raining, but not as before. Okay, so yesterday we began talking, guys, about uh, the future, right? You were able to provide some um, comments, you know, related to, to, to future uh, events, future technology. We uh, gave our opinion about certain things. Right, and the idea was to move to the grammar focus, right? The grammar focus has to do with different tenses. Actually, there is a time contrast with, with, uh, among all these, you know, sentences that we have. Sometimes we have past, present, and future uh, mixed together, right? Um, there are some expressions also that we use to express that we're talking about past, present, or future, right? So, for example, one of the phrases that we can use, right, to talk about the past, and I'm going to highlight some of them here, right? We have this one, <laughs> in the past, right? So, also, ago, right? Just the phrase ago and the amount of time, right? Two minutes ago, four years ago, three weeks ago, etc. So, those two time expressions can be used to to express you know that we are talking about past time now present we can say these days right we can say today or we can say nowadays right estos días ahora o ahora en día verdad nowadays hoy en día verdad now for a future or for the future you can use soon muy pronto verdad in 20 years, in one year, in two months, in two weeks, in two hours, right? Or just using the phrase in the future, right? In the future. Now, we were saying that we have three different, you know, um, structures for past presented here, but actually we have more. Tenemos más, ¿verdad? Soon there will be a lot of high rise apartments. Uh, in 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer, which is something that we're doing now. In the future, people are going to live even longer, right? So these are three sentences with one is will, with will be, the second one with my bite, and the third one with going to, okay? Now, in present, right, we have present continuous. You can use present continuous or just present simple. Just present simple. In the past, we have the simple past form. Or you can use the expression used to. Solía. Oh, yo solía comprar, ¿verdad? People used to buy groceries. Or people used to shop gross at grocery stores, etc. Right? So, guys, what I need you to do right now, lo que necesito que hagan, por favor, is that I need you to go to the chat. Necesito que vayan al chat y que me ayuden. Vamos a empezar con... El, pres, el pasado, ok, el pasado. Please create three sentences. Van a crear tres oraciones, ¿verdad? Similares a las que están viendo en pantalla para pasado, ok. Let's begin with past. Three sentences. Go to the chat and type your three sentences. Por favor, digiten sus tres oraciones en el chat. Three sentences.
Veamos. Mm -hmm. In the past, not many people knew how to use a computer. Okay, I wore a size six in shoes today. I am, I used to wear, quizás diría yo, I used to wear size six in shoes today. I am size eight. 10 years ago, my mother couldn't use social media, but now she can. Yes, ¿verdad? Ha? Si es que los papás rapidito aprendieron, okay? A ver, YouTube, Netflix, etc. Um, in the past, the computer, no, the computer was, ¿verdad? Was, porque es singular. The computer was big. Many years ago, there were less buildings. Mm -hmm. In the past, people didn't watch much TV. In the past, the life was easier. Porque no puedo decir more easy porque tengo que aplicarle la regla para hacerlo como un adjetivo comparativo. ¿Verdad? In the past, life, solo life, no the life. ¿Verdad? Life was easier. Seven years ago, I started to work in the company. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> People used to listen to music on a... ¿Qué es un dig, man? Yo no sería un disc, man, o un walkman, ¿verdad? Eh, in the past, the childhood, sin el de, ¿verdad? In the past, childhood was very nice. Okay, was very nice. People used to listen to music. Ah, okay, ahí es otra vez el de Francisco, pero hay que corregir ahí. Three years ago, bueno, perdón, no sé si soy yo la que no sabe qué es eso, permítanme. No, está mal escrito. Uh -huh. es, creo que es un Walkman o Discman, pero no estoy sure. Luego tenemos acá, veamos. Eh, three years ago, many people died from coronavirus. Okay, from coronavirus. Seven years ago, I lived in another house. Uh -huh. Muy bien. I wasn't allergic to cheese. Today, I am, Elio. Before... Before, I wasn't allergic to cheese. To them, I am. Three years ago, it was a hospital. I used to walk in this, on the street, on this street. Ah, two years ago, there was a via. There was a hospital. I used to walk by this street. Solía pasar por esto, caminar por esta calle. I used to walk by this street. In the past, people used to run in the mornings. In the past, the internet was not used much. Two years ago, two years ago, there was a virus called COVID-19, right? COVID but now we are safer. In the past, hardly anyone used the car. People gather in some houses to watch TV programs together. A few years ago, there were not many constructions. Uh -huh. In the past, no, in a few years, no. Tal vez in 50 years, porque ha pasado tan rápido el tiempo que ni, ni sentimos. In the past, um, pero eso sería una oración en pasado. That I visited Suchitoto City last year. In the past, it was more safe, quizás. It was safer. In the past, it was safer to walk on the street, eh, Gisela. In the past, it was safer to walk on the streets. My friends and I, my friends and I, used to play at my aunt's house. Muy bien. Ten years ago, my mom went como went me? No. No sé si es que la llevó a la escuela, pero si es que la llevó a la escuela, sería Ten years ago, my mom took me to school. Me llevó a la escuela. Took me to school. De me llevaba. Ah, ah, pues no. Entonces, es used to. Ten years ago, my mom used to take me. Used to take me to school. Solía llevarme. Used to take me to school. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And good evening, Daniel Alejandro. 20 years ago, there were not many cars. Uh -huh. Three years ago, when? Creo que 20, quizás sea bien, ¿verdad? Quizás 50 years ago, there were many cars. Three years ago, my mom couldn't use a smartphone. Huh? But now she's an expert, right? People used to listen 
to music otra vez, Francisco. Ah, ah, Discman, ¿verdad? Ya vio que le dije. Eh, Elio dice, three years ago I lived in an apartment, today I live in a house. Muy bien, excelente chicos, good job. Muy bien. Solo que le voy a pasar lista ahorita, chicos. Mientras si hay alguien más que haga falta, me avisan porque no les he pasado la lista. Uy, no, no es esta la de ustedes. Permítanme, es esta. Today is the six. Bye. Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Present. Thank you. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lisette Velázquez de Salgado. Eh, Damari Saraí García Cerón. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alejandro Janes Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Elsie Cristina Correa de Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Flor Noemí Dimas de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Gabriel José Hernández López. Gis Gisela Emperatriz Present Caña Bonilla. Gracias, Gabriel. Gisela Emperatriz Present. Caña Bonilla. Gracias, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, I Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio César Campos Yara. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla Elena López Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Present. Thank you. Eh, María Dolores García de López. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present, teacher. Gracias. Xiomara Violeta Salazar Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. No, bye. Perfect, guys. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, chicos. Now, let's see. Aquí dice, I used to play basketball. In the past, I taught. En pasado, ¿verdad? El verbo en pasado. I taught my niece. No, ahí sería. In the past, I taught my niece the vowels. Solo hasta ahí. Se lo voy a corregir acá. I taught my niece to, I mean, the vowels. The vowels. Ay, no, creo que me hizo falta ahí. La T al final. In the past, I taught my niece the vowels. Le enseñé a mi sobrina las vocales. Muy bien. Ok, excellent. Preguntas, chicos? Questions? I'm going to erase all my drawings. <clears throat> Very good. So let's continue, okay? It says match the phrase, phrases in column A with the appropriate information from column B. Then com compare with the partner. So I'm going to give you guys three minutes, ¿verdad? Three minutes for you to read them. Léalas, ¿verdad? Este ejercicio también muy probablemente les apareció en la plataforma, okay? But I'm going to give you some minutes for you to read them. Léalas, por favor. Y luego las vamos a contestar. Las vamos a hacer, les vamos a emparejar. So you have four minutes beginning right now. No las escriba, solamente copie las, las respuestas, ¿verdad? Give me one moment.
Ok, so time's up. Se nos fue el tiempo. Vamos ahora a revisar las respuestas, ok? Let's go ahead and check. I'm going to use these arrows. Eh, vamos a usar esta de acá. Vaya. So before the automobile. So number one, where would you put it? Eh, Francisco? Letter D, teacher. Letter D, okay. Before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city, okay. Vamos a dejarla acá. Bueno, es más, creo que voy a ocupar esta otra flechita. Permítame. Y voy a cambiar el color, casi no se ve. Entonces, before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Before there were supermarkets, guys, Carla. Está en mute. Hey, people used to shop at small stores. Muy bien, ¿verdad? People used to shop at small stores. About 500 years ago, Iván. Letter J. G. G. Okay. Sorry. About 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. Do you agree? Yeah, people play the first game of golf. Uh, in most offices today? In most offices today? Uh, Francisco? Letter F. Letter F. People work more than 40 hours a week. Sí, es cierto. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about number five? In many cities nowadays, in many cities nowadays, Julio Cesar. Letter B. Letter B, you said, right? Yeah. Okay, letter B. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay, very good. What about number six? Soon. Eh, Flor. Eh, letter C. Letter C. Most people are going to work at home. Number seven. In the next hundred years. Eh, Gisela. Seven. They might find a cure for the common cold. They might find a cure for the common cold. Sometimes in the future. Ay, que esta es la única. Look. Solo vamos a cambiar el color to this one. Okay. In the future. There will probably be cities in space, right? Okay, very good. Now you're going to create your own. Van a crear las de ustedes, okay? Voy a borrar acá. Ahora van a crear las de ustedes, chicos, okay? Van a completar acá abajo. Dice complete these sentences with your own information, then compare with the partner, okay? So we have different expressions, okay? As a child, I used to. Five years ago, I, nowadays, I, next year, I'm going to, and in 10 years, I'll, okay? Entonces, I will give you guys um, four minutes, cuatro minutos, no, sí, four minutes for you to prepare your sentences. Todos vamos a preparar nuestras oraciones, ¿verdad? Con la información que nos piden ahí, y vamos a compartir con los compañeros lo que ustedes han creado. Permítanme. Acá está. So guys, you have four minutes. Tiene cuatro minutos para crear sus oraciones. Let me know when you finish. Avísame cuando termine, ¿ok? Aunque la verdad es que siento que cuatro es bien poquito. Vaya, espérenme. Eh, I'm going to add one more minute. Voy a agregar un minuto más. Five minutes. There you go. Ahí va.
Okay, chicos, time's up. Let's go ahead and listen to your uh, sentences, okay? Volunteer for the, van a leer su set completo, ¿verdad? Así que, can I have the first volunteer? Volunteer for number, well, for all of them, <laughs> ¿verdad? Daniel, please. Okay, teacher and classmate. This is my answer. Uh, the first one is, as a child, I used to fly kites. Okay, very good. Okay, five years ago, I ran a marathon. I ran a marathon, excellent. Nowadays, I planify new studies strategies. Okay, nowadays, I plan new New uh, study strategies. Uh, strategies. 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 Mm -hmm. Next year, I'm going to Dominican Republic for vacations. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the last, in 10 years, I will present an investigation about locust in corn. Okay, very good. Because Excellent. this is my work. Oh, really? Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you very much, Daniel Alejandro. Good sentences. Uh, Xiomara, you're next. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, as a child, I used to play with dolls. Mm -hmm. And five years ago, I went to Guatemala. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, I'm learning another English. Uh -huh. And next year, I'm going to buy a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in 10 years, I think I'll travel to the United States. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much, Simara. Uh, Flor Noemi. As a child, I used to play jacks with my friends. Yeah. Uh -huh. Five years ago, Ego, I went to my mother's house in I San was. Miguel City. I was. I was. I was. Uh, nowadays, I know how to use a computer and play games. Mm -hmm. Next year, I'm going to be working maybe in a call center. Okay. In 10 years, I'll have my new house. Excellent. Very good, Lord. Thank you so much. Francisco Antonio. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, as a child, I used to ride a bike a lot. Ah, okay. Five years ago, I was still in college. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, uh, uh, I am studying English online. Mm -hmm. uh, New year, I'm going to spend my vacation on the beach. Okay. In 10 years, I'll buy a new car. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Francisco Antonio. Eh, Carla Thank Elena, you. you're welcome. Um, as a child, I used to play soccer with my cousins. Mm -hmm. Five five years ago, I was working in a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I'm learning English for the working in a better job. To to work to work in a better job. Uh, to working in a better job. Next year. I'm going to visit my father in the United States, mm -hmm. and in 10 years, I'll celebrate Andrea's 50th birthday. Excellent. Andrea is your daughter. Yes. Excellent. Daughter. Very good. Okay. So, uh, good sentences. Thank you so much, Carla Elena. What about you, Ivan? Okay. As a child, I used to play with my brother. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, I played my last match of basketball. Oh, okay. My yeah, last basketball, basketball match. My last season. Oh, okay. I'm sorry match. to hear that. Nowadays, I can go freely. Okay. Next year, I'm going to celebrate my build again with all my family. Excellent. In 10 years, I hope to see uh, my son like a professional. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ivan. Uh, Gisela. 
as a child, I used to go to play with my sister and my friends. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, I studied the high school. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I study at the university. Okay. And next year, I'm going to be in the fifth years of the university. Mm -hmm. In the 10 years. In 10. I, in the 10, no, pardon. in 10 years, mm -hmm. I be out of the country, of, of the country. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say I'll be out of the country or I'll leave the country. Mm -hmm. Or I'll go abroad. Cuando decimos I'll go abroad, es que eso quiere decir que nos vamos afuera, ¿verdad? Al, al exterior, al algún otro país. You, you will go abroad. Very good. Thank you. What about you, Hector? Yeah. Has a play with my cousin, Marian. Nowadays, I study English a lot. Next year, Fíjese Héctor Iván que Fíjese Héctor que no se le escucha Está como, se le va la señal Y se escucha como robotic Creo que quizás Esperemos a que se, establezca, se restablezca Bien su señal Carla Alicia As a child I used to play in the park Five years ago, I visited my friend to meet, to meet her baby. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I share more time with my family. Mm -hmm. Next year, I'm going to study a specialization. And in 10 years, I will travel to another country. Okay, excellent. Very good. Anyone else? Alguien más que nos haga falta? Eh, Julio César. Okay. Eh, as a child, I used to play football at school. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, I lived in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I'm very tired. I surely need a, a vacation. Yes, definitely. Next year, I'm going to visit Canada. Mm -hmm. And in ten, in 10 years, I'll have my own business. I'll have my own business. Excellent. Okay, good plans. Thank you so much, Julio Cesar. Uh, Rebecca, what about you? Okay. Um, as a child, I used to play a lot of bas basketball. Like Ivan? <laughs> Five years ago, I decided to resume my university studies. Mm -hmm. uh, no one days I don't care about many things that <laughs> I cared about when I was young. <laughs> yeah, totally, Rebecca. Totally get you there, okay? <laughs> Next year, I'm going to travel with my daughter. Uh -huh. In 10 years... I will be have two properties to rent. Okay, excellent. Good, good, good ideas and good plans, Rebecca. Thank you so much. Anyone else? Alguien más que nos quiera contribuir con más ideas, sentences, and plans? No? Well, let me tell you, actually, you have done a very good job, guys. Very good jobs. I mean, very good job with your sentences, okay? Now, these phrases are very useful. Right, you are going to adapt it right to your needs, right? as a child or as a teenager or as a, as a young adult, right? Five years ago, four years ago, etc. <clears throat> now, after this, we have the pronunciation and intonation, right? A section. Now, I was saying yesterday that this has to do with pitch. Pitch is the, the way we, um, how can I say it, pronounce, right? 
it our intonation rises and falls, right? So it depends on, you know, the uh, the type of word or sentence that we're saying. So I'm going to share with you the video. Just let me make sure that I'm sharing the sound. Now let's go ahead and listen. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to... Eso es lo que acaban de hacer ustedes, así que no lo vamos a enfocar acá, pero sí aquí. So look, when you say the phrases, cuando ustedes dicen la frase, hay un rise intonation. Quiere decir que la intonación se eleva al decir la frase. In the past. Today. In the future. But at the end, al final, la, la intonación baja. There's a, a falling intonation, right? So, in the past, very few people use computers. Baja. Today, people use computers all the time. Baja. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Ahí baja la intonación. Entonces, con estas frases, con las que, o al menos cuando nosotros hacemos una frase para abrir, ¿Verdad? El contexto o la oración que vamos a decir, ¿verdad? Vamos a darle un rising intonation. So, in the past. In, in the, the past. past. Uh -huh. Today. Today. In the future. In the future. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh -huh. So, we have to be very careful, right, when we are uh, saying, it, saying them because we need to um, say yeah, when we are saying them, uh -huh, because we need to adapt them, right? We need to add the rising intonation and the falling intonation, okay? So it is, this is the same thing that we have here. Vamos a escuchar nuevamente. All the time. People used computers. Statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Very good. Can so, you now complete this? There you go, right? So you have to remember that whenever you are using this type of phrases, there is a rising intonation at the end and a falling intonation. I mean, at the beginning, rising intonation and falling intonation at the end. <clears throat> Pregunta, chicos? Questions? No. No, Excellent. For me, it's okay. <clears throat> Very good. Now let's go ahead and move here. After this uh, example we have here, listen to people discuss changes, right? Check the topic uh, each person talks about. What changes has each person noticed? Are things better or worse than they were? So here we have different topics, population, transportation, families, environment, cities, shopping, and you have uh, some options for you to say better or worse. Solo déjeme asegurarme si está aquí el listening en la plataforma. Yo creo que no está. <clears throat> ah, bueno, pero aquí está, ¿verdad? This is the one that we are talking about. Vamos a hacerlo entonces aquí, chicos. So let's go ahead and play the listening. Vamos a poner el listening. You said about one a contestando con me. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. 
How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Very good. Now we're Page going to 60. listen again. Exercise. We're going to listen again, and now we're going to pick this subject. Okay. Five, part B. Listen again. Write down the change, and if things are better or worse now. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. So what about the first one? What is the topic that she is talking about? Environment. Environment. Very good. Let's continue with number two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. What about that Three. topic? What about topic number two? The topic is transportation. Transportation, transportation okay. And the last one? I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay, very good. What's the last topic for this woman? Say the coffee. Families. Families, that's right. Okay, thank you very much. Families, excellent. So let's go ahead and send it. Correct. Very good. But now, ahora que ya escuchamos el listening, ¿verdad? Ahora sí, ¿verdad? It says, listen to people discuss changes. Check the check things, okay, um, from the topic each person talk about. What changes has each person noticed? Are things better or worse than they were before? So we have the topics, right? So we have selected three topics, okay, and those topics are, let me see, tenemos population, Okay, acá, perdón, it's the transportation, families, and environment. Okay, those are like the three different topics she talks about, okay? Now, eh, let's listen one more time. Let's listen to it one more time, and please write down the changes. Vamos a escribir los cambios y vamos a decidir si fue para bien o para mal, better or worse, okay? Let's listen one more time. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. 
This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Okay, very good. So, what changes has she noticed? What's greener? It's much greener. Okay, what else? Thank you. Many trees around. Uh -huh, there are many trees around. Carla. Uh, the same. <laughs> okay, sorry. There are many trees around. What else? Now, is it for better or for worse, guys? What do you think? Better or worse? It's a nicer better. place. Huh? It's better. It's better, better, right? Very good. It's for better. What about number two? Listen. Ah, espérenme que se desconfiguro. Planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. Very good. For number two, guys, what are the changes? Uh, teacher, yes. Uh, the transportation is getting different. It's different. Uh, people have, yeah, people have to wait long time for buses. Very good, right? So it seems that it, it um, they don't have you know enough transportation for everyone. Carla, please. It's worse. Uh, everyone needs a car. Yes, it's worse because everyone needs needs a car, right? Okay, so it's words. Very good. What about number three? Listen. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. So, what are, what are the changes that she mentioned? What changes that she mentioned? I'm not sure, teacher, but she said that children live on the street before. She, she I'm sorry, that she? Children live on the street. That after they were to live in the grandparents. Mm -hmm. I'm not pretty sure. Okay, thank you for, no, I'm going to um tell, say that in a moment. Anyone else? No? Well, apparently this lady, there, I'm sorry. There are, there are not more young couples. Exactly. That's what she said. There, are, there aren't as many young couples as they, there were before in the, in, the, in the neighborhood, right? So she says that nowadays uh, there are no kids and that people used to live, a lot of children used to live on that street, pero no en la calle, sino que eran los vecinitos, ¿verdad? She says that uh, she misses, uh, extraña eso, she misses having kids around, okay? Now, is it for better or for worse, guys? What do you think? For better. <laughs> for better. <laughs> Actually, what she said is it, that uh, she misses that. Ella lo extraña, dice. Entonces, en el caso de ella is for words, ¿verdad? Because she says that she misses that. And that things are not the same without the kids. 
Okay, so I'm going to delete here my drawings. There we go. Now over here, guys, there is a section. It says, how have things changed? How have things changed? Choose two of these topics or topics on your own. Then choose a period of time and discuss the questions below. So what are the three questions that we have? Well, we have, what was it like? In this case, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, uh, 20 years ago, right? What is it like today? What is it like today? What will it be like in 50 years? So that is going to be in the future, right? So we have different topics, closing, education, entertainment, housing, medicine, sports, technology, and work, okay? Do you have questions about the vocabulary words? No question, teacher. No questions. Very good. Now, in general, mm -hmm. tal, tal vez mañana tengamos tiempo de hacerlo en el breakout room, pero ahorita quisiera saber en general. Carla. Housing is referred to the valores. Oh, re repeat it one more time. I'm sorry. Repeat it. Housing. Uh -huh. Topic. The topic housing. Ah, okay, okay. It refers to to what? Yes, housing has to do with a. I mean, houses, right? O sea, es como eh, la vivienda, digamos, en sí, el tema de la vivienda. For example, housing in El Salvador, it's been it, it right now. It's very difficult because eh, houses are very expensive and people cannot afford them. So people cannot afford to buy a house, right? So that is a problem because we have a lot of people that do not have access to a decent house. Uh -huh. That is housing, el tema de la vivienda. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carla. Eh, Francisco Antonio. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, and topics it could be music. <laughs> eh, which one, For I'm example. sorry? In the topics, could be. Ah, music. Music. Ah, yes, yes. It has changed a lot, but a lot. Yeah. 50 years ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> how was, how, how is it different for you, Francisco? The music uh, um, 50 years ago is, is better for me. It was. It's it was, right. Mm hmm it was better, right. okay? <clears throat> Nowadays, you know, things are, are completely different. I think <clears throat> we follow the person, not probably what they really, really can do with their voices, right? Nowadays, there are many, you know, um, bands, right, and, and singers that are Indie, o son así como independientes, no pertenecen a ninguna disquera, etc. And I think they're making good music, right? But in my case, as you, as you, Francisco, I would love music from the 80s, 90s, right? Early 2000s. So you get stuck. I got stuck. Yo me quedé atrapada en el tiempo con la música, okay? Um, but what about you guys? What do you think about these these different topics? Okay, so Francisco says that it would be better to go ahead and add that topic, music. What do you think about the ones that we have? Any of the topics that you have there? How have things changed, verdad? Remember, these are the questions that you will discuss tomorrow. Son las que van a discutir mañana en los breakout rooms, verdad? What was it like 50 years ago? What is it like today? What will it, what will it be like in 50 years, okay? And those are the topics. So get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow you're going to talk about them. Now, eh, that's the reason why, verdad? Por eso es que les presenta la, la sección, verdad? lo que es ese, como le llama ahí, eh, 
mixed tenses, right? So there's a mix of different tenses. Quiero ver cómo es que le llaman ellos. Acá está, aquí está. Time contrast, eso es, eso es lo que quería decir. Time contrast, right? So it's different, uh, but in a way, right? Uh, it helps you, right, to, to, to practice, you know, the different tenses that you have learned, okay? Now. I'm going to pass the attendance, guys, and I'm going to uh, stop the class here. So tomorrow we're going to begin. Mañana vamos a comenzar con esto, verdad? Tomorrow we're going to begin with the with the, with your sentences because you're going to uh, tell the class about your ideas. And also this one, if you can do it, verdad? Interview your partner and write a paragraph about his or her hopes in the future. Don't write your partner's name on the paper, okay? So you can talk to someone right and write down what this person would like to do in the future cuáles son esas esos sueños y esas esperanzas que esa persona tiene en el futuro pero quizás me voy a quedar solo con este for tomorrow así que guys eh, déjenme pasar la lista de los que no me contestaron y ahí nos vamos a quedar Claudia Lisset Velázquez de Salgado Claudia Lisset no vino eh, Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera no vino. Y Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Jocelyn Elizabeth. Very good. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias, chicos. Pues aquí me quedo entonces. ¿Verdad? Seguiremos el día de mañana. Thank you very much for joining mm -hmm. and see you tomorrow. Okay? Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good night, guys. Bye.